Hey guys, so welcome back to Yakuza 0. Let's carry on where we left off. We're in between sub-stories right now, but uh, we're looking to wrap up a couple of them before we move on to the main plot. And I think from there, I th uh, we should just commit to completing the main story for a couple of reasons. One, I'm curious as to how the rest of the story is going to play out with the empty lot and Makoto Makimura. Sorry, I just kind of left that guy uh, while I do my monologue. You know what? I'll save his life and monologue at the same time. How about that? Uh, and my second reason is there's just a lot of side content uh, in the game that we could busy ourselves with until the end of time. We are already on episode 41. I'm aware that this series has gone on for quite some time. Interest may be dwindling. Uh, so let's just get the main story out of the way so I can at least say I completed the game. Uh, I'm probably going to cover the big side content, like with uh, the Cabaret Club and Real Estate Royale. Oh, see you later. Um, after I complete the main story, so if you want to stick around for that, you're more than welcome to. I think we can, of course, uh, carry on with side content after the main story is over. If not, well, I'll just keep the save anyway, uh, and we can explore that then. Just um, to wrap things up with this series, I, I really am having so much fun with this, but I'm aware that you know there are, could be other games we could be playing on YouTube as well, uh, but. I'm not going to neglect the series. I'm not going to cast it aside as soon as I finish the main plot, so don't worry. I will see through to the end uh, the five stars and the five billionaires. Thank you for the Torriner. I'm glad I could uh, rescue you. Now, let's sort these sub-stories out. Hey, you there. Huh? Listen, can I get you to come over here? What's with this weirdo? <laughs> Rise of the Dragon. Oh, yeah, just as I was about to... Hook up with my cabaret girl there. And by hook up, I mean hook her up with something. Thanks for coming over. Phew, I'm saved. So what's your problem? What do you want? What the hell? <laughs> you, where the hell are your pants? That's why I called you over. Do you do me a favor? Can I borrow your pants? Huh? Why the hell? What? You do not do that. Your pants... Yeah, the pair you got on now. As you can see, I had my Bontan pants, pants taken. Come on, pal, I'm in trouble here. Why don't you just undo your top and wrap that around your waist, at the very least? Nuts to that. I give you my pants and I'm the one standing around in my skivvies. Take me for a fool? Aw, oh, now don't be that way. Otherwise, I'm going to keep the camera angle pointed at me at me like this. No self-respecting young fellow with a whole future ahead of him can go out in this town with his underwear exposed, right? Huh? Did you hear me the first time? I give you my pants, then I'm the one swaying the breeze here. <sighs> Ugh, what a waste of time. My fault for Karen. <laughs> uh. Hey, hold up. Leave me your pants. Or what? Huh. You want them so bad, you can try to rip them off me. Now you're just standing in the middle of the street and everyone's looking. And, uh, yeah, well, that old guy's turned around. He's like, oh, no, I don't want any part of this. You didn't warn the old lady, though. Fine, screw it. I'll put your underwear on display for the whole world to see when I jack those pads. Careful, I just invested five billion yen in my thug style. <laughs> just slap him. Oh, I can't believe I missed that grab. Come here, come here. Oh, no you don't. Okay. Jeez. Well, I should take your top off now. I'm sorry, really. I was way out of line. For fuck's sake, what is with you, man? Explain, from the top! I... I'm Toru, and I go to Soton North High. Just before you came by, I got mugged by the Bontan Hunter. The what hunter? Bontan Hunter? The hell's that? He's going around stealing people's Bontans? Their pants? Uh, well, to put it simply, Bontan pants are like school uniform pants. They got high waists and are super puffy around the, th the thighs. The, uh, cool kids wear them. Oh yeah, you're looking super cool right now. I can see why you're not so cool anymore. No, I know what a Bontan is. Bontan, sorry. <laughs> I said that in such a western way. So the Bontan hunter attacks guys wearing Bontan and acting bigger than their britches. He beats them up and takes their Bontan as a trophy. So the gist of it is, I guess this guy kicked your ass and left you with your tidy whities on display. Then you thought you could kick my ass, and I should really do worse. Oh. Uh, pretty much. There's nothing I could have done about it. The Bontan Hunter's this really weird guy. Weird? Like how? Like stealing people's pants in the middle of the street weird? There's something messed up about him. Big guy, but likes to jump people from behind and pummel him. And on his back... His back? 
Oh, great. What's the tat? Yeah. No, he's got this tiny student backpack. Yeah, student backpack? Like from elementary school? It's not the Electronics King, is it? See what I mean? He's just messed up in the head. You try getting jumped by someone that loopy, it's just flat out scary, man. Uh. He's been going at it every day, too. The way things are going, there's gonna be more victims going pantsless around here. Well, now I'm one story richer and a shit ton of time the poor. This all's got nothing to do with me, but I will write this to, uh, Dolce. <laughs> That's for sure. Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Please, you can't leave me here like this. Can you get my pants back for me? They say he shows up near Maga Magutaku a lot. The bastard's tough, but I bet you could take him. My Bontan's as good as back with you on the hunt for the hunter. Please. <sighs> can't think of any good reason why I'd want to help your sorry ass. Forget you saw me. Oh, but... but this backpack toting guy. You gotta admit, it's kind of intriguing. He does his hunting near Mag Magutaku, huh? Alright, the, uh, Bontan pants guy. Seemingly right near my objective. Nice bontan you got there. Huh? Uh, pretty sure I'm not wearing a bonton, aren't I? I'll be taking those bonton. Uh, good luck. You talking to me? Wait, wait, wait. You, you talking to me? Maybe you need glasses, because these pants ain't bontan. This here's what you call a tuxedo? <laughs> Stop talking like I care. Just drop your pants. Oh, well, if you just wanted me to drop my pants, you should have just lit off with that, huh? Because I'm not willing to give you my pants, but I'm willing to drop them. If that's, uh, for the right price. <laughs> You're the Bunton Hunter I heard about, huh? Got the school backpack and everything. Wanna tell me what your deal is? You don't wanna take him off? I'll help you do it. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Peeling's better than stealing. <laughs> that is, that's quite the tagline your business has got there. Not exactly the reasonable type, huh? You made your choice. I'm gonna have fun ripping those pants off you. Oh, good luck. Because I just invested 5 billion yen in my thug style. You don't even have two full health bars. I mean, sheesh. Just a shakedown just wants my money. If you want to go after my... my manhood, you're gonna need more life bars than that. Well, looks like I'm keeping my pants. Is this some sort of uh, pink slip battle we had? Do I get yours? What the hell? Uh, it lost to this one-eyed chump. Gotta hand it to you. You ain't half bad. What's up with the getup, huh? Oh my gosh, it's Ryuji-kun, and he's down! Oh god, kids involved. What happened? Were you guys, like, playing pranks on the high schoolers? Were you trying to get revenge or something? Huh? Whoa, you're right. Hmm? We're sorry. Please leave him alone. Please, please let him go. Ryuji-kun was doing this for us. Oh, for crying out loud. What now? <laughs> Oh, okay, I thought he was just knocked out, but nope, he's fast asleep. Theh. He's got some nerve falling asleep after all that. But you're telling me a brute this size is still in elementary school? Hi. Yep. Ryuji-kun is a classmate of ours. He's always been like this, right? Mm. Yeah. A school backpack never, ever looked right on him. So you've got a sixth grade Hulk ripping the bontine off a high school jerk twice his age? Those guys must be double sorry when they gotta explain it. Mm -hmm. But you said he was hunting down bontine for you guys, uh... Care to explain what that's all about? Ryuji-kun's probably getting revenge for us. On the delinquent kids of Sutton North High? Yeah, I thought it might be. Some sort of vengeance plot. They're really scummy. They beat up kids our age, take our money, and threaten us when we don't- so we don't tell grown-ups. We hate them. So you're saying Ryuji-kun there took it upon himself to take your fight to them? Hi. Yeah, but we don't deserve what Ryuji-kun did for us. Uh -huh. Why is that? Because we shunned Ryuji-kun for a long time. But even then, he went and did this for us. Okay, back it up. What made you guys shun him? I mean, the kid's downright intimidating, I'll give you that one. Probably because he's different, right? It's Ryuji-kun's dad. He's a Yakuza. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see now. Yakuza, huh? Alright. When we were little, we all played together. But when our parents found out about Ryuji-kun's dad, they said we couldn't play with him anymore. Now, Ryuji-kun's all by himself at school. Even the teachers are all careful and polite around him, like they're scared. So he's the son of a Yakuza. Better than a son of a bitch. There's gotta be plenty of those around here. Why is it such a big deal? Because Ryuji-kun's dad isn't a regular Yakuza. He's like... like, like, like some big shot in the Omi Alliance. That's why everyone's scared of him. Oh, okay. Is he someone I know? <laughs> ah, I'm starting to see the big picture now. After all we did to ignore Ryuji-kun, he went out looking to even the score for us. We don't deserve anything he's done for us. We suck. Okay, how do you know he's doing this for you guys? Hey! 
What are you blabbing to this guy for? Ryuji-kun! Ryuji-kun, here awake? Hm. I ain't doing this for you. <laughs> I thought so. He's got his own agenda here. Uh -huh. huh? I just can't stand those so north punk asses walking around like they own the place. No, uh You're lying, Ryuji-kun. I saw you get all pissed off when you heard those jerks were pricking on some of the girls in our class. Shut up! I said that ain't why! <laughs> Ryuji-kun, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We won't ignore you anymore. Please, can you forgive us for the way we treated you? I told you that ain't got nothing to do with it. I seriously can't stand those Sutton North pussies. They made it to high school, but there's not a one of them that could actually fight. Bunch of losers. Okay, well, it shouldn't be like your ticket to high school that you know how to fight. <laughs> Except you, one-eyed guy. You beat me up like I'm just some punk kid. What? What do you mean? Other than being built like a bulldozer, you are just a punk kid, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but, dude, you're as tough as my old man. You sure you're still in high school? What? <sighs> you still going on about that? I told you, this ain't no bonton. <laughs> you think I'm in high school? Imagine, I had an eye patch. That'd be pretty wicked. I don't give two shits about it. I decided I'm gonna be a bigger man than my dad. Ain't no way I can accept losing to some stranger off the street. Oh god, it's a Mr. Shakedown in his early years. Sounds like a personal problem. I ain't forgetting your face, bro. Next time I see you, I'm taking your bonton. Screw any other bonton. I ain't your bro, pal. I won't rest until I rip those pants off your ass! <laughs> well, good luck, because my foot's gonna be up yours, and you're gonna have to reach around to take them off. Huh? Hey! Don't shout crazy shit little turn heads! Whatever. I ain't got time for kitty games. I'm out. You kids got this? Hi! Yes. We'll make sure Ryuji-kun will be okay. Oh, wait. This pair of bonton pants Ryuji-kun had. What'll we do with them? cares. Chuck him. The guy wearing him was an ass. Nah, nah. Mister, can you return these pants to the kid who owned them? If we do it, he might beat us up. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll do that if I happen across him. <laughs> you will? Thank you. Some kid this turned out to be. Oh well, guess I gotta help out his buddies. I'll go give these pants back to that pantsless punk. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't try and fight me for them again. Alright. Hey dude, I got your laundry. You know you're not hiding from this end of the block, right? Huh? Oh. You're that guy. Oh, right. The fellow who had his bonton taken by Ryuji. Well, I'm here. I suppose holding on to his pants now would just be cruel. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, li I ain't about that life. <laughs> oh, yes. This is it. My bonton pants. Thank you so much. Was that guy near Makutako, like I said? Ah. Yeah. Punk tried to jump me for my pants, too. I ended up being asked to get those pants back to you. Huh? Huh? You ain't even wearing bonton. But he jumped you anyway? Yeah, he's evolved. <laughs> he's spreading. Bontan was just a gateway trousers. <laughs> Forget it. Not a story worth repeating anyway. See ya. Well, thanks for your help. I gotta go too. Gonna round up some buddies and find that punk. We all got accounts to settle. Oh god. What? Now this, this is the cycle of violence. The cycle of revenge. <laughs> that Last of Us 2 was trying to comment on. Come on now, I can't take this lying down. My pride's been wounded. If I round up all my buddies in town, even that guy won't stand a chance. I got a beating to lay on that amped up punk. Gotta run! Boy. Hey, hey! Oh, God. That kid's in trouble now. With all the punks in town descending on him, even he's gonna be in that deep. Ain't gotta be pretty, that's for sure. Oh, hell. Better go see what's going on around Magutako. Ah, <sighs> alright. Back across the bridge, and we're back. Oh, God. Oh, no. That Bonton Hunter kid should be around here. Might already be too late to help him, though. What the? What's going on here? You did this by yourself? Hm. Just a bunch of mooks. Don't matter how big a swarm they make, they're still worthless. Man, what a waste of time. I gotta get home. Got math drills for homework. K uh, hey! What's your name? Ryuji Goda. Ooh. Am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> He's a monster! A real monster! Maybe he appears in later Yakuza games? I don't know. Heh. <laughs> There's a dragon in the making. The way you're going, our paths might cross again, Ryuji Goda. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Rise of the Dragon. Oh? Huh? Is that a phone ringing? Looks like it's that payphone. Mystery caller. Ooh, what's going on here? Who's ringing? Why's the payphone ringing? Should I pick up? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Answer the phone. No one else is. 
This one's really bugging me. Might as well answer it. Hello. Yeah? Ah, hello. You answered it last. Huh? This guy sounds awful chirpy. This is a public phone. Sure you got the right number? <laughs> yes, it's you I wanted to speak with. Oh god. We all know what mystery callers are like as well. <laughs> Given our luck, it's not gonna be a happy ending. Who the hell are you? And what do you want with me? What is this, uh, Die Hard 3? Phone booth? Yeah. Who I am doesn't matter. I don't know who you are either. Huh? The hell? You just want said you wanted to talk to me. Mm. It didn't have to be you. Anyone who picked up the phone would have been fine. Uh-oh. It's looking more and more like phone booth if we're, uh, panning up to the buildings around us. Huh? Uh. But in the end, you were the one who answered. That's fate, I tell you. No doubt about it. Huh? Listen, Matt, they have telephone clubs for this kind of thing. I ain't in the mood to get sweet-talked here. Mm? Oh, are you rejecting me already? At least hear me out first. No funny business, or I'm hanging right the hell up. <laughs> I want you to play a game with me. Oh god, here we go. Is it Simon Says? Is it Die Hard 3? Oh. This is sounding like funny business. Uh. The rules are simple. Just bring me the item I ask for. What do you say? Huh? First thing I'm gonna say is what's in it for me. Page 413 of the phone book. Uh -huh. huh? I'm gonna get a page of the phone book? Mm? The phone book, under the phone. Open it up. A hmm. hundred thousand yen, wow. Okay, well, I'm actually kind of hurting for cash right now. Whoa, <laughs> not that it made a big difference. It was like a splash in the ocean. If you win the game, I'll pay you an even bigger reward. Oh, joke's on you. I've got my hundred K. I'm just going to walk off now. Thank you very much. How about it? Still think there's nothing in it for you? Are you in the habit of leaving that much cash in a phone book anybody can thumb through? You're a real nutter. It's not that uh, money bags guy, is it? <laughs> I like that. I'll play your game. <laughs> really? Great. I appreciate it. Yeah. That saves me the trouble of detonating the bomb I planted in that phone booth in case you turn me down. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah, the hell? Where? <laughs> I had time on my hands, so I installed a bomb in the phone's handset. One press of this button, and... Kaboom! <laughs> you gotta be bluffing. <laughs> Can you say that with certainty? It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I don't need to trigger it anymore. Right, because I've already volunteered for this game. Huh? Tch, you crazy fuck! Well, what is it you want me to get for this game of yours? Mm. Mm. For starters, how about you bring me a 9mm automatic pistol? A 9mm- Are you a goddamn gun? What the hell are you gonna do with that? Oh, I wouldn't concern yourself with what I need it for. Yeah. I'm only interested in seeing if you can procure one. <laughs> I ain't a fan of getting put to the test. But I could score that for you, no problem. Yeah, I'm a courier now. Have the cash ready. It will be. Once you get a 9mm automatic pistol, bring it back to the payphone. Not that I know that there's a bomb here, thank you. I'll leave it outside. <laughs> Good luck. A 9mm automatic pistol. Okay, I can arrange that, right? Alright, I specifically need a 9mm automatic pistol. Let's order one. 500,000 yen? Sheesh. That 100k was hardly a rebate. All right, I've got it. Thank you. I got a 9mm automatic like the guy on the phone wanted, but what's my next move? Uh, we'll hand over the pistol. Fine, you can have the damn 9mm automatic. There we go. There it is. I better get well compensated for this. That was expensive. Not that I should be complaining, I got 2 billion yen. Hey. Hello. It's been a while. Uh, I brought the 9mm automatic like you asked. Ah. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. You dropped the 9mm automatic pistol. Ah. And that looks like a real 9mm automatic. What? Ah, huh? You got eyes on me from someplace? Sheesh. I guess he's looking so close that he can tell it's not a toy. Mm? Oops. Well, who can say, really? <sighs> anyway, your turn to follow through. I thought it was a given that he had eyes on us. There's no reward. I can take this right back where I got it. I was about to tell you. Don't be impatient. Page 315 of the phone book. Guess I just opened it to that page? What? Oh god, I'm not even making a profit here! 200,000 yen. I suppose uh, I could have found it other ways rather than just purchasing it. Use the phone book for the reward too, huh? Isn't it about time you showed your face? What happens if I just flip through all the pages? Will I just find money for other people? Yeah. <laughs> 
I might meet with you in person if you see the game through to the end. <sighs> the end? There's more! <laughs> Correct. Please play along a little longer. Ah. Oh, I didn't ask your name. What do you tell me? Uh. It's Majima. Because that's what I do. I tell people my name, even when they're strangers on the phone threatening my life. <laughs> well then, Majima-san. Your next target is a Chinese broadsword. Too tricky. I could make it simpler. Uh. All I gotta do is bring back a Chinese broadsword, huh? Done. <laughs> I like your style, Majima-san. Nothing faces you. A very attractive quality. <laughs> I ain't a cop of corn, so don't bother buttering me up. <laughs> do I get the privilege of hearing your name? Nani? Me? Hmm, let me see. Mm. You can call me Simon. <laughs> yes, I knew it! It's Simon Sis! <sighs> Simon? Fake a name as I've ever heard. You're a real piece of work. Ah. <laughs> well, once you have the Chinese broadsword, bring it to the payphone again. <laughs> Good luck. I got to know Simon the Mystery Man! Oh, cool, we got a friendship meter. Ooh, now I'm really curious. Well, time for the main story. Let's go. The Kijin clan office is up on the third floor here. All good to go up and bust some heads? Let's do it. Alright, time to get acquainted. Hello. Oh, Makimura Magoto Adogue. Looking for my friend. <laughs> I wasn't an explosion. So you're probably not too far off. You got brain damage? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not even back in, so... <laughs> yeah, just because we're in your offices doesn't give you an advantage. Oh, I don't have to walk out the door. I'm gonna break dance my way out of there. Mm-hmm. There we go. Kijin clan. Oh, knives. Oh, barbaric for people in offices. Oh. Okay, that's okay. I'll, I'll let you have that one. I just need to wind up. There we go. Oh, he shot me right between the legs. Am I mean like he missed? That is. Yeah. There we go. You willing to talk now? I guess not. You're all unconscious. Whew. The only reason I'm tired is because I was spinning on my head a lot. We started with the legs. Now it's my knuckles. Oh, what good are you? Wait, really? <laughs> Stick up the yes man. I will. With my fists. Oh god. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna let me waltz into the jail cell? So yeah. Ah, no wonder he was okay with getting arrested. Okay. Fine. Should I bring you with me so I can throw you off it? Hmm. 
I'll be back though. If you're lying, you know I will. Because he knows that I'll beat it out of him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That'll teach you. Still, it's helpful. <laughs> but I gotta teach the guy a lesson. This Billiken guy is a detective who can get me into the can to see Nishitani. Hangs out on Bishamon Bridge, the guy said. It's worth a look. Alright, let's go. Alright, there he is. He had a pigeon with him. A little friend. I don't know, he looks pretty hard boiled to me. Looks like he's not getting paid enough, hence why he resorts to working with the Yakuza. Slim. Thank you. I guess. But eating a lot, so I'm glad I can maintain my figure. <laughs> Preferably without the handcuffs. Slapped on my wrists. Uh, kind of. Forged in fire. <laughs> yeah, but I promise I won't kill him. I'm just trying to be upfront and transparent. Yeah. I'm telling the truth, so you know you can count on me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, just because we're truthful, doesn't mean it's a good idea to bring us to it. Uh, what do you want me to do? Take my pants off? Someone's already tried that. Oh god, he is looking at my pants. Okay. Just one drink. Ooh, on the water. Awesome. <laughs> There's something, <laughs> something oxymoronic about that. A pleasure barge. Fine. Wish it could have been a yacht, but whatever. マジマ言うたな。お前西谷の何や。さっきも言うたやろ敵やって。酔っ払っとんのか。敵にもいろいろあるやろ。いろいろ。フレンドミー。お前に殺したいと思う敵もあれば。yeah, some you have a friendly rivalry with. Hmm. Yeah, he was molesting my girls. Not a fan. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So it was a klepto, I guess. <笑>そうよさ、klepto、I えらい飛び級やな。そやけど、デカのあんたが何でそんなやつの窓口なんかしとるんや。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
That is impressive for 1988. God damn. I was not expecting this. Oh. Fan freaking fantastic. Uh, huh. At least it wasn't a real person. Well, you guys gonna leave me here? Wow. Damn, and you own this place? Shit. The bit of sticks. I like it. What? Oh. Fight club? Oh shit! Wow. Well, it looks like a lot of people know about this place. This is a huge crowd. This is definitely no catfight club. No wonder he was sizing me up before. He wants to see if I can fight myself. Well... <laughs> ショウゴが一個もなくて立件で銀買った殺人鬼。政治の都合で大焼きにできんテロリスト。世界中のそんな奴らをここに捕らえとる。なんで殴り合っとるん。フリーダム。この闘技場で1年間戦うたら、シャ
対する挑戦者は本日サンズの顔を出たばかりの神聖ワンアイモンスター謎に包まれた赤眼の男ザングザルスコミアディックはい。They did say no rules. He hasn't even tried. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, he hasn't tried to stab me yet. But that was a really pathetic attempt. <laughs> Ginger Chapman. Who came up with this name? Oh! My suit! Ugh. Okay, that barely did any damage, though. There we go. Ginger Chapman down. Who's next? Winner! <laughs> An upset? You're kidding me. That's the thing about debut matches. They can't uh, determine just how good I am until I get in the ring. Ooh, Billy Ken's not too impressed. Probably was expecting me to die. Ooh. Angel of Death. Hmm. So, this guy killed his patients discreetly and somehow knows how to fight really well if he survived this long, right? Let's do it. Oh, shit. Fine. If only I kept that 9mm automatic pistol. Yeah. Two down. That wasn't half bad. I was right. He doesn't know how to fight. <laughs> Ends up winner, Goro Majima. Anyone else? Do these guys have to fight three battles in a row successively? <laughs> oh really? The legend. Who is it? Some sumo wrestler? Oh god. <laughs> Accidental in fight dance. Dead puncher! Jeez. Alright. Well. Looks like he made a career out of killing people in the ring. His pants are on fire. And by pants, I mean shorts. Okay, he doesn't have his boxing gloves on. Doesn't have any weapons either. Guess he wouldn't be called Dead Puncher if he had a knife. I'll bring my own weapon out now. Here we go. Sorry, pal. They said no rules. Honorable that you're using your fists. But even I have my limits. Well done, Puncher. <sighs> Sorry to th that things ended this way for you, but at least you get to fight another day. I didn't even take my suit off, and now I'm lighting a cigarette. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm here for the next hour. And that's about it. Well, take me to jail now. Ugh. Only if there's a lot of money in it. Tsk. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so bored. Yeah, well, it's a bitch, you know. Predictable. Just take me to my guy now, please. Alright. Back topside. Over the bridge. Yeah. 
I think I saw a reference to a fight club or something in the completion list, but it was obviously not on the map. Now I see why. みんなが見たない現実を北内門が隠してくれとるんや。会社は片親でな。親父さんが男で一つで育てた大切な一人娘やった。yeah, I mean, shit. Especially after a whole year. Can't believe minors who do unspeakable things like that get to get away with things like that. Hmm. Street justice. No. コロシタンは当時高校生やった西谷。西谷が西谷は物心ついた頃から度々親父さんの世話になっててな。知っとったやろな。親父さんが苦しんでんの。下道に生まれついた人間には下道にしかできない割があった。Yeah, that is true. Darinikanjasarukotomanaiga。Now I can see why. Sir, He's so jaded and disillusioned. Hmm. Was not expecting that level of depth. Wow. So yeah, you are gonna do to join your nice targeto. Oh, my own home, Jimmy, dick to run. All right, uh, not yet. I've got a couple of things to take care of. You can not hear it all more to hang up the gara. Yeah, Jimmy, dick. Oh, no, go to the matoy dargara. Jimmy, the Sundara, quick idea. Sounds good. All right, let's get ready. 